Hi, and welcome to this online series where we'll look at enhanced e-commerce. In the first couple videos, we'll talk about why we want to use it and some of the key features. And then in the rest of the videos, we're going to talk about how we implement it and show you how to do it. Now, first of all, a warning before we start. This is really technical. Now, if you've been using Google at least for a while, you have probably tried to implement the scripts, the normal e-commerce tracking, and so forth. And that is actually quite simple. Even adding some variables and doing a data layer is kind of simple. But when you move into the enhanced e-commerce space, it gets much more complex. And that's also why that even though we provide this video series with text, which you can find at jabo.com under resources, we do recommend if you have a production website with important data, please contact experts. It could be us, it could be anyone else. We have done it many times before. So just as word of warning, this is technical and if there's anywhere through the process where you have questions, just contact us. We are experts and we can definitely help. Just go to jabba.com and we can help. But enough talk about that. Let's jump right into it. So what is e-commerce tracking? And I just took the statement from uh, Google's own website, which is basically saying a lot of stuff here. What I would say instead though, enhanced e-commerce is some additional information you can track about your customers and then you can learn a lot of important stuff and then more importantly actually react on it. So what this basically says is we can have a lot of extra information like which products have we have the user seen, which have been clicked on, uh, how about if they modify something in the cart, we can see that. Uh, how about the checkout process, do some credit cards have better conversion rate than others? Uh, also, do some products have a higher refund rate than others? What is the real revenue and real profit of our products? Now, this is all the things that enhanced e-commerce can do. But something very important to notice that is in the old e-commerce tracking that you implemented the whole thing. You did the e you know, you did e-commerce tracking. Uh, but the thing is, uh, with enhanced e-commerce, uh, it's more that you pick what you want to implement because it's not going to be important for everyone to import refunds. For instance, if you have digital products, it might not be interesting or important at all. Uh, for some, it might not be interesting to track impressions and clicks of banners because there is no banners. So it's really, you know, a question of what you want to implement. And that's also why you have to make some decisions before you start. And again, if you want to have a, you know, a professional chat with someone who knows what the benefits are, contact us. We are experts in this area and we can help. So why would you spend time on it? Well, I think it's really simple. You get more data, more insight, and that gives more opportunity for improvements. Because let's just say that you find out, okay, people who use PayPal convert less or higher. You can react on it, you can do a lot of things. You'll also know which banner placements are gonna give all the extra sales. Um, you can really learn a lot from this. And that's also why more data is not always better, but in this case here, it's in Google Analytics, and it will help you give some, some really important insights. Just as Google Analytics normally does, this is just like Google Analytics on steroids. It's like an extra level. So, who should do it? Uh, the thing is, this is web shops. This is basically for web shops. And I would say, I wouldn't bother implementing enhanced e-commerce if you're a small web shop. A small meaning like 10 orders a day or less. I wouldn't bother because this is technical, it takes time, and the thing you're going to learn from it has more value if you're big. So I would, I would personally say, this is my personal opinion, this is not reflected by Google or anyone else. My personal recommendation is, if you're a pretty big web shop, which has, it's difficult to say a, different, a specific amount, but if you have around 100 orders a day or 50 orders per day, or plus, and especially if you get into the thousands or ten of thousands, which some of my customers have, I would definitely start considering a lot because you get a lot of important data. Uh, we look at the features in the next video series. You can just either go on java.com on the resources, you can find this enhanced e-commerce series, or you can just probably go on YouTube and find the find them. So what I would say here is basically web shops with a significant amount of visitors and revenue should look into enhanced e-commerce. So this was really the first start here, the first like, what is it, why we do it? And again, you can see the full guide on java.com. And if not, well, I hope you see you in the part two of this video series so we can start looking into the features and then later on how we actually do the implementation.